Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen from Jen Tea. In this channel, we share about Chinese tea and its culture. Please consider subscribe if you are also a tea lover. What is spring tea, summer tea, and autumn tea? Isn't this very obvious? Does this need a video? Uh, yes. In Canada and I believe the States as well, let me know if, if I'm wrong, uh, the, the beginning of spring is the spring equinox, summer is the summer solstice, while autumn is the autumn equinox. So those mark the beginning of each season. While in China, when we talk about spring, summer, and autumn, the beginning is usually marked by the uh, Chinese solar term Li Chun, Li Xia, and Li Qiu. When we talk about tea season, so spring tea is usually uh, Qingming dao Li Xia. Uh, summer tea is usually Xiaoman dao Xia Zhi. And autumn tea is Da Shu Dao Han Lu. So these are the uh, rough zone of the tea season. But when it comes to specific plucking time and the plucking length, it really depends on each year's the rainfall amount as well as the temperature. So it's not rare to see that uh, spring tea starts way earlier than uh, in April. So in the spring, the temperature really dictates the tea season, while in summer and autumn, usually we uh, watch carefully with the rainfall. Once someone asked me, what's first flush Chinese tea? And honestly, I don't know. It's not a Chinese tea term, it's an Indian tea term. So I would have to guess based on it's in its meaning in the Indian tea. So I think in this case, it's best to ask the source. Personally, I just feel like it's a marketing term, like, you know, certain type of a fusion cuisine that steak with some soy sauce and black sesame. And here's five more dollars out of my pocket. Um, well, I'll try not to be so cynic. Different tea regions in China have a very different uh, tea season. Some places pluck only one season a year, uh, like Wuyi. Some places uh, pluck two seasons a year, like Anxi, uh, Tie Guanyin. They would do spring tea and uh, autumn tea. And of course, it's always developing. So uh, some places that originally only plucked two season now it's plucking also summer teas. And uh, many places also do winter tea. As a small production, uh, we usually call that dong pian. As for spring tea season, sometimes you could hear tou chun or er chun, san chun. Those are referring to the different time frame in the spring tea harvest season. And Pu'er traditionally has really romantic name referring to its plucking time. For example, spring is called the Chunjian, the very early first uh, uh, round of plucking. And in the autumn, it's called Gu Hua. It, does, it means a grain flower, but when you see Gu Hua Pu'er, you know it's a uh, autumn Pu'er. Hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep steeping!